Hi, I'm Alina Machado. It's July 27th. Watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. Here are the six things to know. A homestead man will remain behind bars after the shooting death of his niece. 44-year-old Stephen Myers was arrested after police say he shot and killed 21-year-old Winnie Mendoza on Friday morning after an argument. Investigators say Myers is married to Mendoza's aunt and that the two had been sleeping together for two years. Funeral arrangements have been made for the Broward Sheriff's deputy who was killed in a crash last weekend. Deputy Benjamin Nibbs will be laid to rest on Thursday in Fort Lauderdale. The deputy had been on the force for just over a year. He was killed while responding to a call last Sunday after his vehicle collided with a truck. The state of Florida's population could surpass the 22 million mark within the next three years. Experts say the state is growing by 330,000 a year. Florida currently ranks third in population behind California and Texas. President Trump made disparaging remarks Saturday about a majority black district in Maryland, drawing swift condemnation from Democrats. Trump labeled the district represented by Elijah Cummings as a, quote, disgusting rat and rodent infested mess. Cummings serves as the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, which heard testimony from former special counsel Robert Mueller this week. Already under attack from erosion and rising seas, South Florida beaches are facing a new crisis. We're talking about the invasion of sargassum seaweed. Tap on the NBC6 app to see First Alert meteorologist Angie Lassman's report on why concern is growing over this issue. And in your daily dose of cuteness, 18 pandas were honored this week with a birthday celebration for all. The adorable cubs celebrated their first birthday at a nature reserve in China. The nine boys and nine girls enjoyed fruitcake and, of course, bamboo.